Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, I posted a video about Microsoft Edge's new Circle to Copilot, which is a feature that's very similar to Google's Circle to Search. Now, I'll leave that video down below. But if we just quickly head over to our settings appearance page where the feature can be enabled, and this is currently being tested in Edge Canary 124, which is the latest preview version. And when I posted um, last week, Edge Canary was still on version 123. But nonetheless, if we scroll down quite a bit to the bottom of the page, here we get Circle 2 Copilot. And just to show you hands on how this will all work, because I didn't get it to work in the previous video, so I just want to keep you guys posted. So obviously, you need to make sure that um, Enable Circle to Copilot in web page and on screen are enabled. And here's where you can configure Circle to Copilot. And this is the shortcut I posted on last week where you can actually select a section of your screen using this shortcut and then you can send that to Copilot. And how Circle to Copilot actually works is you just click on the right click button on your mouse. So there you go. And you just circle around any relevant topic or item on a web page or in your browser, Circle to Copilot. You release that and then there we go. It sends it directly to Copilot and then you can ask Copilot anything about that actual screen snippet. And if we just head to a web page, the same will apply. Right click. There we go. You hold that in. You draw a circle around it. You release that and the same applies. It sends it to Copilot where you can go further and ask it questions about that little screen snippet and anything that you have highlighted using circle to search. And this is part of the mouse gestures. So um, they've now kind of combine this whole circle to copilot within the mouse gestures and obviously using that mouse gesture where you use the right click uh, the right click mouse button you just click that in and there we go the same applies so that's basically hands-on how circle to copilot will work and you can use this in your browser or on a web page using microsoft edge and if this is going to be handy i don't know i don't think this will be a feature that personally i would use but obviously that depends on your own personal choice and preference. So you have the option to turn the feature on and off, which I think is great and not available as yet in the stable version. So there's quite a bit to go before this makes its way down to stable. But as always, I'll keep you guys in the loop if I see that heading in that direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.